The Dow actually hitting 19,000. We are two away. Two away, folks, right now from hitting 19,000 again. The question is, is it going to is it going to uh, close above this key level? Do you know the markets are up about 4% since Donald Trump won two weeks ago? Well, joining me right now, former economic advisor to President Ronald Reagan, Art Laffer, Trump economic advisor Steve Moore, and our very own Lori Rothman joins us from the floor of the New York Stock Exchange as it looks more and more likely we're going to hit 19 again. Uh, good to see all you guys. Lori, jump in as soon as sure. we do. Uh, two points away here. I mean, uh, I think that the Dow, Trish, is hitting a little resistance at that 19,000, yeah. right? It's a psychological <laughs> milestone, but you pointed it out, man. I mean, the market's come so far, so fast in just these two weeks since the surprise victory, 650 points on the industrial average. And not to be left out, the other benchmarks are trading at record highs, too. I mean, what a statement. On the market, I mean, the tape has just been screaming for Trump. I mean, it's unbelievable. That well, you know, right, and we didn't think it off. would necessarily. I it mean, was there were a lot of people that the future's overnight. Sorry to interrupt you, right? We're so worried that you're, you're so right. And you know, I, I talked to many investors that were concerned about volatility, that thought the markets would sell off. Uh, we have seen anything but that. Now, you know, I, I got to ask you, Art. You, you've been pushing this agenda for for many years. Probably since your Reagan years, lower taxes, less regulation, that equals economic prosperity. Uh, my question to you right now is the market's putting a lot of hope in exactly that agenda. Can he get it done? And if so, oh, how soon? He can get it done. He can get it done fairly easily, especially with advisors like Steve Moore, who are <laughs> working with him day and night. Steve knows exactly how to do it, what to do. And Larry Kudlow is the other one who's there. And, you know, I have 100 percent faith in both of them and Trump. It'll, it'll be a great period, let me tell you. Trish, All right, so what fantastic. are we talking about taxes-wise? I want to know from a well, corporate— we're talking about corp Corporate, corporate tax, tax down to 15%. individual tax? Uh, well, a little bit later. That'll take longer. But 100% expensing of, of uh, capital equipment in the year of purchase. Uh, mm -hmm. You're talking about getting rid of the inheritance tax. You're getting rid of regulations, restrictions, and requirements. Obamacare reforming and Obamacare Dodd-Frank. I mean, all the evil beasts that are sitting out there holding America Okay, back Obamacare uh, reform, repeal, uh, replace. That's going to take a little Especially time, the taxes. Steve Moore. Um, but the, oh, taxes, can you, can you get that done fairly easily, fairly quickly? Uh, because, hey, we'd all kind of appreciate a tax cut. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> you know, would love a tax I, cut. I, I believe we can. You know, uh, Ronald Reagan signed his tax uh, bill that Arthur Laffer worked on in August of 1981. I think that was eight or nine months. I, I think, Arthur, we might be able to beat you on that. We might get it done in I you know, so. five or six months. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> you know, the, the point is, you know, you were talking about the Dow. And yeah. Arthur can correct me because he was there. But if the Dow went up as much in uh, eight years of a Trump presidency as it did uh, under the Reagan presidency, Arthur would be talking about a Dow of, what, 35,000 or something like oh that goodness. eight years from now. So, oh I mean, the goodness. potential for a big bull market that we haven't seen in a long time in this country. Yeah. You know, you're talking about the, the Dow 30, flirting with 19,000. I'm talking about 35,000 in eight years. 35,000 in eight years. All right, <laughs> Steve, I, I hope we can replay this and say, look, Steve Moore told well, us I mean, in eight minute, years me, it would be clear. at 35. Lori, <laughs> yeah. Lori, you're talking to all those traders down there. It feels like there's more optimism. Although, I, I got to point oh, yeah. out, you know, I, I was out on the street the other day and I have a few people come up to me and say, look, is it going to be okay? Is it gonna, to which I said, yeah. You know, I yeah. think it will be okay. Uh, well, let's it better be okay. Uh, the, the world is not in. falling apart. But what no. are you hearing down the floor? Well, obviously, it's a holiday-shortened week. There's not a lot of news to trade on, right? We don't have a lot of economic reports. Earnings reporting season is winding down. That said, though, the fourth quarter traditionally is a pretty seasonally strong time for the stock market. But, you know, a lot of people used to look at stocks like a casino. It was a big gamble. But now, with these Trump pro-growth policies, that you're discussing there, here on Wall Street, they're very optimistic that, simply put, a tax cut is going to mean more dollars in people's pockets. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at the retail sector. It's one of the sure. outstanding performers. It, you know, the more example. dollars in everyone's pocket, they, they can spend it really quick. I just have 10 seconds. But, Steve, what are we talking about in the way of the individual tax cut? What I, I know there were there was an initial proposal, what, of 25 percent, and that got changed no, we're, by we're, you and your team. It moved I, up. I, so what do you think, realistically, you can get done? 
Highest rate of 33%, and as uh, Arthur said, get rid of the gift and estate tax. We get rid of the uh, surtax on investment, on capital gains and dividends, so we bring that down to 20. It's all pro-investor, Arthur. It's all pro-investor. Okay, okay, and the hope all I just right. want to point out for the viewer is that you're growing the economy enough that you are able to offset the uh, lack of revenues you'd otherwise come in. It's part of the Laffer curve. Well, we're going to cut spending. Uh, cut spending. Come on. Uh, cut some spending. I, I'm all for it. And we got a story coming up <laughs> later on in the show of some spending that can absolutely be cut. All right, good. Steve, Lori, good to see you guys. All right.